section eight of key to the science of theology this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox dot org recording by kathleen key to the science of theology by parley p pratt key of knowledge power and government heaven's nobility whom worlds obey clad in the brightness of eternal day enthroned in majesty as priests and kings to whom the universe its incense brings angels its ministers heaven in its throne the stores of infinitude are all its own having given a general view of the powers operations and effects of theology as developed amongst the nations of antiquity the mysteries of the godhead the law of nature and the origin and destiny of the universe the subject next in order is the key of knowledge power and government as developed in the heavens and on earth for the organization order peace happiness education improvement and exaltation of intelligences in the image of god his sons and daughters the great family of man comprising the inhabitants of unnumbered millions of worlds in every variety and degree of progress consists of five principal spheres or grand divisions in the scale of progressive being namely first the gods composed of embodied spirits who inhabit tabernacles of immortal flesh and bones in their most refined state and who are perfected in all the attributes of intelligence and power second the angels who are also composed of spirits and immortal flesh and bones less refined and endowed with vast intelligence and power but not a fullness third embodied spirits without a tabernacle of flesh and bones these are they who hate past the veil of death and are awaiting a resurrection fourth embodied spirits with mortal tabernacles as in the present world fifth embodied spirits who have not yet descended to be clothed upon with mortality but who are candidates for the same there is also a sixth division but of those we need not speak as they are not as yet included in the scale of progressive being not having kept their first estate the spirits of all men in their primeval states were intelligent but among these intelligences some were more noble that is to say more intelligent than others and god said these will i make rulers in my kingdoms a upon this principle was manifested the election before the foundation of the world of certain individuals to certain offices as written in the scriptures footnote a see book of abraham translated from papyrus lately taken from the catacombs of thebes in egypt in footnote in other words certain individuals more intelligent than the others were chosen by the head to teach instruct edify improve govern and minister truth and salvation to others and to hold the delegated powers or keys of government in the several spheres of progressive being these were not only chosen but set apart by a holy ordinance in the eternal worlds as ambassadors foreign ministers priests kings apostles and so forth to fill the various stations in the vast empire of the sovereign of all jesus christ being the first apostle thus commissioned and the president of all the powers thus delegated is lord of lords and king of kings in the heavens and on the earth hence this priesthood is called the priesthood after the order of the son of god it holds the keys of all the true principles of government in all worlds being without beginning of days or end of life it was held by adam seth enoch noah shem melchizedek and others abraham obtained this priesthood 
and an election of the same in his seed after him to all generations the decree went forth in an everlasting covenant that in abraham and his seed all the nations and kindreds of the earth should be blessed of this lineage according to the flesh were the prophets john the baptist jesus christ and the jewish apostles since the covenant and election thus manifested the keys of revelation government and miraculous powers on earth have been held exclusively by the literal descendants of this noble and royal house the gentiles could partake of a portion of the same blessings but this could only be done through their ministry and by adoption into the same family this election or covenant with the house of israel would continue for ever in the great restoration of all things this lineage will hold the keys of priesthood salvation and government for all nations as saith the prophet isaiah the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish yea those nations shall be utterly wasted and again ye shall be the priests of the lord men shall call you the ministers of our god but strangers shall build your walls and the sons of the alien shall be your ploughmen and your vine dressers this priesthood including that of the aaronic holds the keys of revelation of the oracles of god to man upon the earth the power and right to give laws and commandments to individuals churches rulers nations and the world to appoint ordain and establish constitutions and kingdoms to appoint kings presidents governors or judges and to ordain or anoint them to their several holy callings also to instruct warn or reprove them by the word of the lord it also holds the keys of the administration of ordinances for the remission of sins and for the gift of the holy spirit to heal the sick cast out demons or work miracles in the name of the lord in fine to bind or loose on earth and in heaven for the exercise of all which powers the student of theology will find abundant precedence in the sacred scriptures man holding the keys of the priesthood and apostleship after the order of the son of god are his representatives or ambassadors to mankind to receive them to obey their instructions to feed clothe or aid them is counted the same in the final judgment as if all had been done to the son of god in person on the other hand to reject them or their testimony or message or the word of god through them in any matter is counted the same as if done to jesus christ in his own person indeed such ambassadors will be the final judges of the persons rulers cities or nations to whom they are sent although the chosen instruments to hold the keys of this priesthood must be the literal lineage of israel yet that lineage are not all thus commissioned nor indeed are any of them priests merely because they are of the chosen seed such an instrument must be revealed and his ordination which he had before the world began be renewed and confirmed upon his fleshly tabernacle or he cannot be a priest on earth one who already holds the authority or keys of priesthood can reveal by the word of the lord and ordain and anoint others to similar callings and through these ordinances fill them with the holy spirit as a qualification for their holy calling by this means joshua succeeded moses elisha succeeded elijah and so forth and by this means the great apostle of the father chose and ordained the twelve apostles of the jews and gave the keys or presidency of the kingdom to peter there have however been times when by a general martyrdom or apostasy the keys of this power have been taken from the earth see chapters two three four in such case there would be no longer visions revelations or miraculous gifts from the lord manifested among men because the priesthood is the channel 
and the ordinances are the means through which such blessings are enjoyed by man in the absence of these offices and powers darkness ignorance superstition priestcraft and kingcraft idolatry and every species of abuse would fill the earth and usurp the place of the true government of the kingdom of god the most remarkable and long-continued instance of this kind which perhaps ever transpired in our world commenced with the destruction of the apostles and saints who immediately succeeded the lord jesus christ and continued until the present century producing in its consequences all the human butcheries wars oppressions misrule ignorance superstitions king craft priest craft and misery which have visited the world in the false name of christianity on the western hemisphere the apostleship oracles miracles and gifts of the spirit ceased from among the people in the fourth century the precise time of the discontinuance of these powers on the eastern continents or in the roman world is not known suffice it to say the last of the twelve apostles predicted in his vision on the isle of patmos the reign of a certain power which should make war with the saints overcome them be drunken with their blood and here rule over all nations and by thy sorceries said he were all nations deceived if these predictions have had their fulfilment then it is the height of inconsistency for any one to contend that rome or any other nation has perpetuated the priesthood apostleship or church this would be the same as to say the saints were destroyed and yet perpetuated all nations were deceived and yet had the truth could a universal or catholic power at once destroy the saints and perpetuate them could the same power at the same time be the conservator and promulgator of a system of universal salvation and of universal deception but leaving the prediction and the reasoning on this subject what are the facts which present themselves for their own inspection clearly visible to all men do we not find the world for many ages and up to the present time destitute of those manifestations visions powers and keys of knowledge and government which would enlighten purify and exalt the race and establish permanent righteousness and peace in short have the powers of the eternal priesthood as described and exemplified in the holy scriptures and in this work been manifested for the government of the catholic or protestant world or any nation thereof since the destruction of the ancient saints and apostles if we answer this last question in the negative then we verify the truth of the prediction by the last of the twelve if in the affirmative we deny both the truth of the prediction and the facts which clearly present themselves in the past history and present circumstances of the world called christian when there is no longer a commissioned priesthood perpetuated on the earth it becomes necessary in order to restore the government of god for the man or men last holding the keys of such power to return to the earth as ministering angels and to select by the word of the lord and ordain certain individuals of the royal lineage of israel to hold the keys of such priesthood and to ordain others and thus restore and reorganize the government of god or his kingdom upon the earth after the destruction of the apostles and saints who succeeded jesus christ there is but one dispensation or restoration predicted by the prophets that dispensation will fulfil the times of the gentiles complete their fullness restore the kingdom to israel gather home their twelve tribes organize them into a theocratic government that is a government founded and guided by prophets priesthood visions and revelations it will in fact not only restore to them the ministration of angels but receive its final consummation by the resurrection of the ancient saints and their return to the earth accompanied by the son of god in his own proper person 
to this dispensation all nations must submit all merely human religious or political institutions all republics states kingdoms empires must be dissolved the dross of ignorance and falsehood be separated and the golden principles of unalloyed truth be preserved and blended for ever in the one consolidated universal eternal government of the saints of the most high and all nations shall serve and obey him end of section eight